millennials like sitting at the edge of the beach for lunch, even when they're in the middle of downtown. They live life differently than the boomer and have seemingly grown up with a sense that we live in a hair trigger world of violence. The crazy thing is we just heard cracks and bangs and everybody just kind of went like that. Like, oh, that could be a gunshot. That's very true. It turned out it was the water feature at Campus Martius, but everyone alerted, assessed, and then gave little more thought to it. Because you never know what's going to happen, and people, like I said, it's very random when they do these shootings, so you never know when it's going to happen, what's going to set somebody off. The 20-something crowd will tell you the way they've grown up has largely desensitized them. I think growing up in my generation, uh, children are exposed to violence at an early age because of the internet and video games. I feel like if a child is not learning productive things that can make him a productive citizen and they're just sitting around playing violent video games and watching violent videos on YouTube or the web, I think that they'll start to act out what they see. Social media also puts them into the action, not on the sidelines. They are tuned in to get the news as it's happening, read as it's happening tweets, watch videos in real time. It's not that they accept what's happening, but they are more accustomed to it. I feel like they happen and you know, you're upset and you're worried about it for like a week or two, and then it goes away and then it happens again. Unlike the child who grew up in the atomic age, where children grew up learning to duck and cover. A post-Columbine young adult has been taught tactics to survive an active shooter. It pretty much sets you up so you know what to do if there was an active shooter. So really the main thing is that you should actually kind of fight back instead of just being passive and, and like hiding yourself in a corner or under a desk because then you're putting everyone in one place which causes more harm than if you try to fight back or try to get out of the room. I talked to a lot of millennials today, and most, not all, but most seem to believe that they're not willing to change the way they operate one iota. They seem to believe that these kinds of acts of terrorism are the worst kinds of bullying. And if you let the bullies know you're afraid, the bullies win. Paula Tutman, Local 4.